Hello and welcome to the Craftsman Show. My name is your host, the Craftsman. Today we're going to talk about something different. Honey and bees and bees wax. Let me say right off the bat, the Craftsman is not an expert at anything, especially not bees. But I wanted to give everybody a look at how that we got our first honey of the year. And this is how we did it. My wife and I have been having bees for just a short time. This is my wife. She's wearing a bee suit. This keeps the bees from stinging her. Right here, she's removing the frame from the beehive. And if y'all, some of y'all may not like this next part, but it's going to involve some shaking. Since I filmed this video, I ordered my wife uh, a bee brush that you can use to brush away the bees off of it. Do y'all like honey? And every time that you get a frame out the hive, we put it in a clean Tupperware container. This is how we keep the bees away from it. And we repeat the process until we get all the frames out the box. Whoa, hold up, craftsman. You trying to tell me that you took all the bees, honey? Don't you know they got to survive in the winter? The only honey that we get comes from this top box right here. In the middle of that is a queen excluder that keeps her from being able to go lay eggs up in the honey in the top box. So we only get the honey come from the top box. And now for the fun part. We get to break the caps of the wax, which releases all of the honey. Some people use a hot knife. We just use a regular old kitchen knife. Look at the honey. This is one of my favorite parts of the whole thing. I like honey. Honey has got so many nutrition value. Look at it. I could just look at honey all day. Do y'all like honey? Look at this honeycomb. You could put that in a jar with your honey. Some people like that. Craftsmen like to chew on the honey wax. As you can see, all this wax has got honey dripping from it. So what I like to do is suspend it in the bucket and leave it overnight to drip. Here goes a diagram showing how that works. Now we about to pour some honey for real. As you can see, we emptying the bucket out into another strainer, into another clean bucket. But this bucket has a honey gate installed at the bottom. What a honey gate is, is that allows you to dispense your honey into jars or whatever container that you're using and allows you to do it easily. And here go a jar of honey. Do y'all like honey? Craftsman, what you gonna do with all that wax? Uh, don't, don't, don't be wasting it. I put the wax up in a big pot and then I add me some water to it. And then I turn it up on some a little bit of heat but not too much heat. And then I let it get to where it's melted but not boiling. I just let it get to melting. And then I got me a little jerry rig looking uh filter that i seen somebody else do this one time take some brand new clean uh screen and put some uh, paper ties up on top of the screen and then just pour your melted stuff down onto it and then let it drip through and cool now 
Now, as you can see, it strains out some of the wax, so it might not be the most efficient, but other methods you have to do multiple times, and this is probably the fastest method that I think. As you can see, the wax float on top, so you can lift it up out of the water, and there you go. And now you got some beeswax. I hope y'all enjoy looking at how uh, my wife and I be uh, taking care of doing honeys and bunny bees. Really, the bees do the work, and we got an arrangement with them. Leave me some comments and, and like my thumbs up the video if you like it, and subscribe and everything. And if you know some friends that know some things about uh, crafts or about bees, then uh, tell them about it. I like honey so much. Have a blessed day.